In this brand new video, you will learn marker pseudo element in CSS. So the marker pseudo element is for styling the stylistic marker of a list element. For example, the bullet point of a default UL that is on order list or the numeral part of default OL that is order list. This makes it extremely easy to do simple things like colorize them. Let's see by example. Suppose in HTML we have one order list and realize. Let me just copy and paste. Let me add some content. So here let me add three different content so we can see the difference. So let me add one br and copy and paste this ol and let me make it on order list. So this is how it looks. Okay, this is default styling for OL, order list and unorder list. So using marker, you can change the styling of this bullet and numbers. How? Let's see. In CSS, you can write down OL, LI, that will select the LI. Marker, you can give color red and font weight bold. This is how it looks. In the same way, you can select UL LI marker and give it font size to 150%. Let's make it a little bit large and color to some random color. So this is what it looks like. So like a pseudo element, you will be able to select marker in dev tools when we inspect but it's only in dome not in the dome but it's only there so as you can see the marker element is there it's not really in the dome but you can still select and see the css right you can combine marker with the content property to change the what marker is for example in ol let me remove this or add comments. You can write down content and let me just copy this part and paste. See, as you can see, you can also apply content here. If you change the display property to list item on any element, you can control its marker. So let's see by an example suppose in html let me just comment out in html let's say we have one heading and let me just copy this to heading below that we have one paragraph and let me just copy out and for paragraph Let's add one more heading h3 with another title right and another paragraph tag with some content and again h3 with some title. And one more paragraph. So, if you see, this is how it looks. But let me add some CSS into that. Let's say, let me just comment out this OL and UL. Yeah. Let's say we have H3 and I am giving counter property counter increment okay 
and giving h3 as a value display list item h3 marker you can add display list item in content you can add hash and space counter is a function and h3 is a argument space space is a value you can give some color as well and font weight to both so it looks nice let's see how it looks so here as you can see when you inspect the numbers you can see we can add list item display content hash counter h3 it will automatically add hash 1 hash 2 hash 3 and for example we have another p tag let me just copy and paste mm, not this one this one copy and adding after this last paragraph then it will add automatically the number 4 so the markers are still list markers so you need to take care whenever using as other options right so this is very useful when you don't have ulli and still you want to make it look like a list a list item so you can use marker in that case as well if you talk about browser support except i internet explorer all the latest browsers support this property and this is very useful in some cases when you want to create a design or html using list item okay that's all for this video i hope you like this video subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet see you soon thank you